Reynolds back in a hurry. Reynolds to the hole. Rubio takes and scores! Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery, where all profits benefit Virginia's public schools grades K-12. through Buy clean, safe, reliable propane. Propane, exceptional energy. Buy GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And brought to you in part by the Virginia Athletics Foundation, dedicated to providing scholarship, operational, and facility support for the Virginia Athletics Program. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly, presented by the Virginia Lottery. If you were to paint a picture of a basketball player, that's the picture that I would paint is of Monica Wright. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Ben Rubio, number six on the men's lacrosse team. We've got a lot of great highlights and features for you in today's show. But first, here's your play of the week. The play of the week is brought to you by SunTrust Mortgage. We make the American dream come true every day. An entry going to Reynolds left. Reynolds off the bounce against Mario. Back and in. They rotate Singletary for the three. In and out. No good. Tungy got the rebound. The putback by Tungy Sorore. 33.8. Off. I just went for the ball because I didn't have that much rebound the whole game, but that came true for me. So it was, it was, it was fun. For Tunji, you know, it, again, knowing that situations are going to present itself where uh, he's going to be asked to do something to help our team win. It could be an offensive rebound. It could be a block. It could be a charge. You know, it could be running the floor. It could be simple things too. And so. You know, uh, our job is to just put him and everybody else, Mo and Adrian, in positions where they understand that at some point in time they're going to be asked to do something that's either going to help us win or, or cause us to not win. And so you know, we've got to continue to, to work that way every day in practice. Stay tuned. Virginia game highlights are coming up next. Inside off the window, the sweeping layup is good by Singletary off the right side. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. Our men's basketball team had a couple of big conference games this week against Miami and Georgia Tech. Let's check out the highlights. The Cavalier game highlights are presented by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Five-point lead. Harris feeds it low, and Tucker did a great job cutting off the pass. They were trying to feed the post. Deani got the ball. Deani picks it up, and in transition goes to the right wing. Feeds low to Tunzi, and picked up, though, by Singletary. Singletary, the layup good. Goes into the game, couldn't get it. Reynolds did. Off the dribble. Reynolds heading to the other side. The layup good. He got bumped, but Reynolds, the layup. It'll be JR in transition. Reynolds right back. Kicks in the corner. It's Joseph for the three. Book it. We weren't on top of our game. Uh, we picked it up defensively, but again, we, we left many, many opportunities. We turned the ball over 10 times and really were out of, out of sorts offensively. And as a result, you know, it was a nine point lead. I thought, you know, if we had played anywhere near our capabilities would have been you know, a, a lot larger than that. Good steal by Reynolds. He rotated over and took it away from Collins. Cavs back on offense. Reynolds, single Terry for the three. Got it. Left side, a transition triple. And JR faces a pass to Tunji Hypo, who feeds the right side. Tucker for the three. Good. Jamil Tucker. College basketball is all about young people's emotions. And when they don't have it, not too good. When they have it, they are good. It's been. You know, I, I wish that were mentioned more. That's, that's how games are won and lost. In the corner right, McClinton, another deep three. Got it. I think Miami had an edge in their, uh, and especially in the second half, and the way they approached the game mentally. Kane left side. They give it 
up to Diani. Singletary, ball fake. Singletary dumps low, ball knocked away. Got it right back. Layup, John Dunn. Yeah, just good heads up play by Sean Singletary. West low. He hooked JR, gets the pass other side. Peacock, the jumper baseline, no good. Rebound inside, blocked from behind by Will Harris. Peacock had it blocked and Singletary wants to bring to the right side. Joseph squares for the three. Why not? Nice job by Sean Singletary. Timeout. Paul Hewitt as Virginia opens up a 16-point lead. Five on a shot clock. Singletary got free. Singletary inside off the window. The sweeping layup is good by Singletary off the right side. We um, played with a lot of intensity right out the gate. We realized it was a real game, you know. So we just came out with a lot of energy. We were able to get stops, you know, running, running transition because we're best when we're running. You know, we're a good team, but, I mean, we're at the best when we're running, and we was able to get stops and keep running, get a lot of layups, and create a lot of plays for other guys. Reynolds up top, top of the key. JR looking to go right side, and a steal by West. He throws it into the front court. Morrow goes and gets it. Morrow off the turnover, layup good. Anthony Morrow to the other end, and Dave Leto wants the timeout. Jeremy Smith trying to back off Will, looking for a pass to Mario West. Mario West catches it in the corner on a skip pass and saves it from going out of bounds. He brings it all the way back to half court in the logo with 10 to shoot. West going left against Singletary. Knocked him down, no call. Jump shot, Muhammad Faye. Good deep left corner. He kicked our tails in the way that, you know, that I'm used to trying to have our teams do to other people. Um, they, and uh, I think what happened, simply put, uh, as we, we have two very, very special players uh, who at any point in time can make plays. And if you surround them with a team that plays defense and plays you know, plays tough and rebounds, and you have a chance to win each and every night. JR gets a little bit of a grab from Jeremy Smith. Back to Singletary for the three, and an out no good. Rebound, Jeremy Smith. Giving it up in the steal. JR took it away from Britton. JR back for the triple. Got it! A uh, huge turn of events there. Singletary now off the dribble. Going inside. Sean with the fingertip roll in one. He got bumped on the way, but he split the defense. And it'll be Georgia Tech back, leading by three at 8-16. Mario West, sideline right, right in front of the Tech bench. Got the screen going left to the left side. Jumper, Thaddeus Young for three. Good. Thaddeus Young comes deep. Shot is contested. Difficult to get open look. Kane, open look. Kane inside. Finishes and got fouled. Jason Kane took it to the box. Georgia Tech back by five. Here comes Reynolds at the wing from Singletary. JR going up top. JR wants the three. Pulls. Yes. Got it. JR knocks down a big triple. 60 58. I knew what position we was in. We had to have this win. I, you know, I just wanted to, you know, try to put the team on my back. The crowd has been spectacular today. Critton it off the bounce. Critton in baseline the double team to Rashawn Dickey. Dickey and the ball deflected by Tunji. Jr.'s got it to the other end. Jr. to Singletary inside a twisting layup. Couldn't get it to go. The tap and finish in pain. Jason Payne. Reynolds off the bounce against Mario. Back and in. They rotate Singletary for the three. In and out. No good. Tunji got the rebound. The putback by Tunji Sorore. 33.8. Sean Dickey looking to go low. Critton it had posted. Morrow coming out for the three. Jump shot no good. The Cavs go and get the rebound. Singletary and he gets fouled with 15.6. It's a lot of that game. We had two guys that could play. Uh, but we weren't defending and rebounding and playing tough. And, you know, they decided uh, at the end of the game to to get some stops as a group. You know, Jason came up big, and obviously uh, uh, Tunji started clogging, and it became a little bit more difficult for them to do what they were doing. And, you know, and, and uh, we, we got that timely offensive rebound. And, for, uh, you know, I'd have to look at it all over again because it just happened in a blur. Uh, but, uh, as I said, thank goodness we got those two, and, and thank goodness Tunji can make a layup. There may not be a better freshman basketball player in the country than our own Monica Wright. Monica is averaging almost 15 points per game, and she's been named ACC Freshman of the Week seven times. Despite all the attention she has received, Monica has remained a modest and humble person, and she is your Student Athlete of the Week. The Student Athlete of the Week is presented by the Virginia Lottery. In 2006, the Virginia Lottery contributed a record $454 million to public schools throughout the Commonwealth. If you were to paint a picture of a basketball player, that's the picture that I would paint is of Monica Wright. 
Monty was born in San Antonio. We traveled to Germany with my husband. He was in the military. We left San Antonio where she was born when she was a year old. And then when we got back to the States, it, she was four. So we spent her second, third, and fourth year in Germany. The first sport that Monica started with was soccer. And, uh, you know, from day one, she's always showed uh, athleticism, speed, and, uh, you know, she, she's always been blessed with that. So, you know, from day one, we could see that, you know, she was going to be something special. Probably around the end of middle school, like eighth grade, going to ninth grade, I just focused strictly on basketball, knowing that I wanted to get a scholarship and I needed to probably commit more, most of my time to basketball. So I just let soccer go, let track go, and just strictly focus on basketball. You know, speaking as her dad, but also as uh, her former coach in AAU basketball, Monica um, is that type of kid that she's a totally team-oriented person. Uh, she not only she wants to do well, but she wants the other kids to do well also. We won two state championships, one my sophomore year and one my senior year. In my junior year, we lost in the championship game to Princess Anne. And it was a heartbreaker, but like I said, it was an instance where it just gives you more fuel to come back the next year and win it. In front of the skip pass by Saida Williams and nearly steals it in front of Zoll, but taken by Charnay. Now in the corner, Williams fires the three around and off. Wright comes sweeping in for the rebound, and Monica Wright puts it off the glass good. That's the first Cavalier field goal for the high school All-American. I had absolutely no concern about how she would come into the program, even though she was extremely highly heralded. I felt like Monica had the right mix of personality. She came in here extremely humble. She came in here and has never uh, flinched at the leadership that was given to her. She's only been, she's been a, a great person under the leadership of our team and never had a moment's problem and was, a, was, one, was a, one of the best friends of all the teammates the day she walked in. So that was exactly what I expected. She's very explosive. Um, she was like our catalyst. Like in the beginning of the game, she always scores just about like our first like 10 out of our 12 points and that gets us going, that helps us a lot and that and us players feed off of that and that helps us bring up our game and make us want to score, make us want to be explosive on the court. She's fearless, you know, and then when you're a freshman and you play relentless and fearless like that, she's got it, you know, she's got it, she's got the skill, she's got the, you know, the relentlessness, um, she plays hungry and the more basketball experience she gets at this level, yeah, you're going to see all of her talents come out. I think she is a player that is definitely going to attract a lot of attention and a lot of fans because, not again, because of the type of person she is and because of her great basketball skill. She's a very talented basketball player. She's going to get better and better and better as she goes through the program and she plays in the ACC. And people are just attracted to her personality because she's just so giving and she just, she just wants to be a part of things. She has absolutely um, no ego whatsoever. She's not concerned with how many points she gets or how many rebounds she gets. She's more concerned with doing what's right for the team to win. I just feel like basketball is something that is a blessing. and. I can never just become a cocky person because knowing that God has given me this opportunity and you know has blessed me with the God-given talent and athleticism, I can never just feel like it was all me. I could always, I have to always give credit to Him because it's Him that's given it to me. So I can never be cocky. <laughs> there was another point at stake in the Commonwealth Challenge on Wednesday when our women's lacrosse team hosted Virginia Tech. Let's check out the game story in this week's Who's Heating Up. Who's Heating Up is brought to you by Propane Exceptional Energy. I think uh, it's really good to actually have started the season. We've been working hard in preseason, and we kind of got sick of playing against each other. We were ready for somebody else to come into town, and it just happened to be an ACC opponent with Virginia Tech.
It felt really, really good. We were really anxious uh, to get the season underway. So um, it definitely felt good. Both teams played really well. So I think we're happy with today's win. Kate's a great player. She's always had amazing hands and the ability to score a bazillion goals. So it is, it's great to have Kate back. I think she's going to take a lot of pressure off of a Blair Weymouth, off of Ashley McCullough, and everybody else that's playing attack. So to have her healthy is huge. I think we definitely came out really strong. We're happy with that. But, um, you know, we do need to move on from this, and we are playing Temple Sunday. Coming up after the break... It's been a busy week for many of our teams. Let's begin our Olympic sports spotlight with my favorite team, men's lacrosse. The Olympic sports spotlight is presented by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. The Cavs are going to go 17 and 0. They will wear the national crown. Absolutely perfect for Don Stasia's team. I don't think that there's any doubt that our success in 2006 made things a little bit more complicated going into 2007. We, we have a young team, and we knew that there was going to be some growing pains early in the year. I don't think there, there was any doubt about that. Uh, you know, we didn't expect it to perhaps manifest itself in losing our first game. We're obviously no longer trying to match last season. It's, it's, it's a new season with, uh, with new goals. Our first game was not, was not our best game. We, uh, we made some mental mistakes that we need to correct. But I think we can learn from that. I think uh, sometimes losses are, uh, are, the, are the best way to learn how to, uh, how to improve and, and, and what you need to work on. I feel very good about our attack. I think in Ben Rubio and Danny Gladden and Garrett Billings, we've got three really great kids, uh, very good uh, college attackmen. And I've always felt like uh, the best offensive lacrosse teams start with outstanding attack players. We've like we had that piece in play. But we've got to get production out of the midfield. The graduation of Kyle Dixon and Matt Pasquet, Jared Little, and J.J. Morrissey, you know, that, that's a big hole to have to fill up. You just don't do that overnight. I think over the course of the season, that's the position I think will begin to emerge. I mean, again, if these guys can just get healthy and put together some practices, I think we can be a dynamic force in the midfield. Uh, we need to hold the fort down at the defensive end uh, with the experience of Kip and Ricky Smith and Mike Timms and Matt Kelly back. Defensively, I would just tell you that I don't think we were good enough in the first game for what our expectations uh, are going to be going into the season. I think our goal for this season is that we will work hard enough to give ourselves an opportunity. The learning experience in, in, in these first couple games is, is really learning how to win. We are going to suffer some learning pains early in the year while this, while this team gets its feet on the ground. I've been saying all along, if we win one piece in the middle of the season, I think we're a different team in the, in, in the second half. And that can really do some damage in the month to make come playoff time. In other Cavalier sports action this week.
Thanks for watching Cavalier Sports Weekly. We'll be back next week with more great features and plenty of basketball, baseball, and lacrosse highlights. Until then, I'm Ben Rubior. Go Hoots. Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery, where all profits benefit Virginia's public schools grades K-12. through Buy clean, safe, reliable propane. Propane, exceptional energy. Buy GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And brought to you in part by the Virginia Athletics Foundation, dedicated to providing scholarship, operational, and facility support for the Virginia Athletics Program.